Hi everyone, this is Jeanette with Janda Panda Treasures. And uh, I wanna thank everybody for participating in the giveaway. Um, I don't know if this is gonna air before or after, so congratulations to whoever won. And um, I wanted to open up another sh couple of Shop Goodwill auction items that I won on some vintage to modern uh, jewelry. And um, I'm gonna start out with this pile here. This is, this is all craft. Oh, most of it is. And then there's earrings that, well, this is craft. And then there's some earrings here that I just, I don't want to deal with. Some purple ones, some copper with enamel. And some of these, there's this, this is shell beads or mother of pearl beads, but this is in really bad shape. There's some of this stuff. I think this is the pendant. These are kind of dirty and they're kind of plastic. And some crystal, these just, they just show so much wear. So anyway, so all of these are gonna be in the craft bag or in, the, in with this. So if you see anything here you like, just Give me a ringy dingy Janda Panda at Comcast.net. And um, then I'll start with, if you want to fast forward, I've got a few earring items here. I just thought these were cool. My earrings, these earrings are going to be $3 each for each pair. I just thought they were pretty. They're all unmarked or they say Germany or Japan. Um, these, this is a pair of Koro. Let's see, do I have any others? Yes, and here's another pair. These are glass. These are cool. Kind of lightweight, so I assume they're mostly plastic. There's, there's zero marks, but it's got this pretty filigree on the back. These, um... I don't know if that's turquoise with pearls, but everything's there. And then there's these teardrops. Kind of have that Dior look to them. And yeah, the Coros. So these are all gonna be $3 each. I'll just put my little grid here so you can get an idea of size. Put the big ones there. These are about an inch. These guys are about three quarters. These guys, a little under an inch each. And there's these guys. And these guys. So there you go, those are your sizes. Take one last look. Timestamp, screenshot. Some people even take a picture of this whole tray and circle what they want. And uh, first come, first serve, and um, payments by PayPal. Um, I will consider uh, international shipping. I just have to, it's just gonna take a little while longer for me to, you know, figure that out. So that's those. I do have some rings. These guys will be $3 each. This is an Avon. This one's at about, well, it's right at six and a half maybe. Anyway, that's where it goes. It's right to there. This one is about a seven. It has a red glass stone. These will be $3 each as well. Give you a look. The Avon ring still has some of the stone. Well, it has the stone there. This one doesn't look like it's been worn. So there you go, rings. Okay, now I have some 
bracelets. This one, I was trying to figure out, I think I can. Just kind of got tangled up in there all on its own. Let's see if I can get this open. Yeah, there we go. I don't know what happened here. There we go. Lifts up a little bit. Oh, let's look at the front. These feel like they're glass, kind of a smoky glass. Just doesn't look like it's got very little wear. My unmarked bracelets are $3. And measurement on this would be This one looks like maybe six and a half, maybe more. Let's see how it fits. Yeah, it's got to be at least a seven. Well, maybe, might be a six and a half. It's probably a six and a half. So that would be three dollars. If I can get this back together. Shipped out a whole bunch of packages today. It's Sunday, I know, but um, I can drop them off inside the post office. So I felt pretty safe about leaving them there. So. Anyway, so there's that. Um, here's another bracelet. These feel like glass and chain. There's no marks. Yeah, I'm going to be um, uploading. This is slightly over seven inches. I'm gonna be uploading a whole bunch of videos while I'm on vacation. So um, I probably won't, I'll try and handle my emails. I just won't be able to ship out until next week. So be patient, um, you will get your jewels. So there's this one, it's kind of black with a chain. There's another one, which I think I might, these two things I might just throw into craft. Yeah, this one's in bad shape, craft. This one, yeah, craft. Let's see what else I have here. I do have some brooches and my brooches are $5 each. Or uh, if you get five of them, it's uh, 20 bucks. Or you can mix and match. It's just whatever the least expensive item is. It's going to be your free one. So here's a little bit of a selection of some brooches in this lot. We have this glass um, reverse cut in the style of a cameo. And this is looks like it's about two inches by maybe two and a half inches. And there's the back. So that's pretty. I know I only have um, four brooches here, but you know, I have, I do have um, subscribers that, you know, they pile up, they have, get a little pile going and, and then um, I think this one goes this direction. And then um, I send them all off at once. This is two inches by an inch and a quarter. I don't know what material this is. It doesn't feel like plastic, and I know it isn't stone. It might be some sort of a glass-ish thing, but 
but there's that one. And here is a really nice American flag. This one's very nice. It's about an inch and a half by, what are you? Two inches? It's really pretty. And here is a Trafari, I think it says Trafari. Where's my loop? Ah, it's over here. No, this is a Monet, a little Monet Beagle. He's about an inch wide, but about an inch and a half high. He's cute. All right. Some necklaces. This is a Wilma Flintstone necklace. You can see inside the holes there. It's acrylic. And it measures, this one's three. It measures from soup to nuts, let me go down here, get flat, 18 inches. So that's a nice, Nice big girl. Three dollars. These are glass. I don't see a clasp. Let me see if I can get it over my head. Yeah, it goes over the head easily. I got a whiff of something. Sometimes I get these and they smell like smoke or something, perfume. Of course, I just took a shower, so I, I smell like Avon's skin so soft. Um, yeah, these even feel like they're glass. So it's all glass, $3. Let's see if that little schmutz can come off. Yeah, it's coming off. All right, and this is, um, oh, I didn't give you a measurement on that. Oopsie. It's about 13 inches. Doesn't need a cleaning. Is that good? Wipe down. Whoops. <laughs> my clean and shine. This is my clean and shine. Or sim actually, it's simple shine. Cleans and polishes. A lot of my jewelry or jewelry I, I get, I don't like to give it too much of a sonic. I mean, I will, you know, especially if I'm trying to, um, I mean, save it. Cause sometimes, you know, it's the last resort. So and sometimes it works. I did that with a couple of expensive brooches that were prong set, but I have to be careful and let them dry completely. Cause I don't want that moisture getting underneath the stones and, you know, causing vertigree or some sort of discoloration of the stones. But as a last resort, when I'm, you know, on the expensive pieces, I, I just try and do this as much as I can. Sometimes I'll um, mix the solution of the clean and shine, or not clean and shine, but the, uh, the um, Sonic and just take a toothbrush and lightly go over the piece just to make it sparkle. Um, all right, 
there's that one. This one looks like it's shell or mother of pearl. It's all tightly wound up here. Like in a twist. You can see all those little seed beads. That looks like it's just part of the bead. They're all different shapes. It's really hot out, so my, and my husband was thinking he might do some yard work, but it's it's too hot. Sounds like he might be hitting out there anyway. So that has got an eight inch drop. And here's a Skittles necklace. to it. Doesn't look like it's got any chippage. So it's like a painted enamel. And this one has a 14 inch, about a 14 inch dress. It's cute. Little Skittles. Great for summer. Three dollars. These are some misshapen on purpose um, moon, oh well, uh, opaline or opalesque type beads. And I'm just going over it to make sure that there's no peeling. They used a separator as a seed bead, but it's mostly like Kelly green or, you know, then there's this, um, what do you call that color? Um, green. <laughs> Excuse me. And it does say on there, I believe it says Japan. Yes. So that's nice. It's really a pretty color. I've actually got a blouse I just ordered from Amazon. Now I'm, now I'm buying clothing that goes with jewelry that would actually go with this. It's a solid color, but it's, um, so we've got some Kelly green. That one's about eight inches. Let's take a look at this, this girl here. Two more on this, in this lot, and then I'll open up another bag. These feel like they're all plastic. Are those plastic? Yeah, they feel plastic. This one has a mark. It says, and plastic is not a bad bad for jewelry because uh, some pieces, you know, if you had, you know, everything in stone, it'd be too heavy. Hong Kong. So, you know, sometimes you need something a little bit lighter and with that look. There's a little bit of wear on this link there. Um, all right. So the drop on this one will be this set beads right here. That's seven and a half inches. So that's this one. And the last one in this particular auction are these beads here. Kind of a rosary style. Let me find the end. Let's see how this shakes out. candidate for my food tray. I'll demonstrate that to you again one day on how to store your unruly jewelry. But the 
acid wrecked the lid to this. So, all right. So it would lay like like that, double strand. These I, they kind of have a plasticky feel to it. They're not heavy like I would expect glass to be. So here's the end. Find out what the drop is. So these are black. Call it the rosary style. It could be a layering piece if you had a, it's 14 inches, if you had like a focal piece to frame a focal necklace, you know, like a, a nice, you know, necklace right there and then you needed something to frame it with, that would be pretty. So three dollars. So there's those guys. That's the first part of the video. Now let's look and see what I'm gonna be dumping into craft. Let's sort. Let's sort. It's a necklace. A B necklace. See a lot of these in um, the vintage lots. Oh, that looks like a Monet. Is it? Yes, Monet. seems to have some sort of pearl or a cloisonne bracelet or um, which cloisonnes are so pretty you know this one says this one. hang on to my loop this one also says Monet some more of these Monet, lots of Monet in this one. I'm not going to assume this is Monet, but these look very similar. This doesn't have a mark on it. It's really worn out. Don't believe it to be sterling. Huh. And there's nothing on there that says it is. I'm just gonna scratch it to see if it comes up a different color or not. My stuff is put away. Well, is it missing any stone? Yeah, it's missing a bunch of stones here. So this is going into craft. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that earring. We'll go over the brooches too. Oh, pretty pearlescent shoe clips. These are. There's the other one of those. There's another brooch. filming right now but yeah I did uh, I did sell something from the last video so that's good mom's checking up on me um, sweater clip that's pretty cool we'll check them over make sure they're not missing anything 
a cloisonne. This one looks vintage. This one's, um, what does it say? It says Coro. Opens up like that. Does it look tweaked to you? Kind of looks tweaked to me. We'll look at that. Here's the other shoe clip. This is really pretty, but it's a lot of the tone, the gold tones kind of worn off on that. This one's got some wear on the inside, not so much the outside, but on the inside. It's a Monet piece. Oh, this is a locket. What if I can open it? Yep. Look at that. There's a pretty earring. Good clasp on that one. Another one to that. And then there's this bracelet. Those are cool little pieces. All right. Well, I don't have very much craft here. The only thing that I think I might put into craft is maybe this one. I mean, it's, it's looking, looking pretty shabby. I don't know if you can see that. My grid. Cute little hat though. So it measures that way and then fully extended, three inches by three inches high, about two and a half wide. These, nah, they're cloth. These, these look worn of sweater clips. A set. It does have a mark on it, but it looks like, oh, here we go. That's a patent number, but this is cute. So I'd do $5 on the sweater clips. Remember, remember doing a timestamp or um, a screenshot is very beneficial to me and um i mean i'll work with you if you can't get to uh i mean figure out the log logistics or if something you drop your phone you, you, whatever stuff happens anyway so i can help you get through it these kind of have like a little mesh texture on the surface and then it's smooth on the back so cute little sweater clip or, or a a way to pull something that's super blousey together. So you can get like right at the waistline and the back of your dress or a long shirt. Those are cute. Copper tone. I mean, it could be copper, I don't know. But um, right now it's copper tone and has this antiquing going here. So this one's about three and a quarter by, well, do that, about an inch and a half. That's really pretty, it's super shiny. This little locket. It's got a little porcelain transfer on the front. This one, so it's kind of tiny, but it's a brooch, so it's $5. And again, if you want to buy more than four, I mean, you know, there's a way you can get, a, you know, five five pieces of jewelry for, you know, 20 bucks. Plus shipping. Shipping starts at about four. I know because I, sh I, I got, <laughs> I got um, a whole bunch of shipping done this morning and most of it was right around four bucks. Some of it was a little higher, so I, I just absorbed it. So that's three inches wide. 
is it three inches wide? No, two and a half wide by, is it two and a half? Okay, that's two inches, maybe two and a quarter by two and a half. And nothing marked, but that's really nice. Kind of a Trafari-esque looking piece. Look at this bracelet. Get my simple shine. Clean off those little fishies. This looks like a trinket bracelet from British Columbia. And there's a name of the town on there. It's got a little bit of wear on the clasp. So because of the wear, I'll do um, $3. This one says Radium BC, so British Columbia. Radium A, eh? hmm. So you got some salmon or some trout. Is that gonna come off? It looks like that will, it's there to stay. So $3 on the radium <laughs> bracelet. I, it's not radium, but it's it's interesting how that um, is the name of somebody's town. Radium. Maybe you can put in the comments some interesting town names. Not necessarily from where you are, but just from, you know, places you've heard of. Here's another $5 brooch. This one has a mark. This one says Monet. So, and this has got that buttery finish to it. It's about an inch and a half or an inch and a half, a quarter by an inch and a quarter. Kind of like the Joan Rivers jewelry, and there's some other brands that are really nice like this, but it, it, there's no snagging. I like that. Don't hurt yourself. It's bad enough there's a pin there to poke you with. All right, moving along. This guy. Let's see what kind of wear. Not a lot of wear on the inside. Um, it does look like it's got some surface scratches. Fits me, I'm a size seven. Not a lot of room. Probably look better on somebody with a smaller wrist. Three dollars. This is the, I believe, is this the Monet piece that has the wear? No. Yes, this is the Monet piece that has the wear. So this one would be $3. Let's see how it fits on my wrist. Yeah, it's another smallish one. I mean, it barely fits. Do some more bracelets. Yeah, this will go on too. But this is a vintage, vintage cloisonne. I mean, you can just tell by the looks of it. So. And this one's kind of tweaked. I think I'm gonna put this one into craft. This is a Coro piece. What I've noticed about Coro, I mean, they make pretty jewelry, but I've also noticed that um, they're not really well made. So stuff like that happens. So that's going into craft. A dollar. Here's a pretty enamel flower brooch. And yeah, it looks like everything's there. It's about a two inch by two inch. Kind of greenish tones and kind of a khaki color there with the really beautiful um, lavender stones. Does that go? And then the green stone in the center. And there's the back. Back looks like it's in pretty rough shape, but the front looks really good. Five dollars. 
Okay, let's do these earrings. These are $3 for the pair. They're really cool looking. I love that bright tangerine orange look to it. So there's those. And then these guys, these are, it's like a, a rosette that's immersed into some sort of um, material like that looks like enamel. Let's see if those little pink stones are all there. Yep, they're all there. Stones, yes, all the stones are there. So it's about an inch by an inch. Well, inch by three quarters of an inch. We have a swirly pattern on the back. Almost looks like 1928, and they very well could be, but they're not marked 1928. So there's that pair, three dollars. Monet necklace. Right here. Oh, and this is chain strung. Oops, pardon me. This one has an 11 inch wearable on it. So that one's five. This is a tiny little baby one to that. This one is not marked. Or is it? No, this one would be three, it's smaller. Again, you buy five items, the least expensive one's going to be free. So you might want to, if you're considering dollar items, is to add that on to five items. Because, um, you know, I'll do the five and um, out of the, and, and exclude the um, craft lot items. So that's about seven and a half, seven and a quarter. Not enough room on my little tray. About seven and a half. This one's the one that didn't have a mark on it. Let's check it for wear. That's not terrible as far as, oh, it does have a mark. This one's a Monet. Looks pretty good. I mean, it could use a wipe down, that's for sure. does show some signs of wear, but you know, these are old. People wore them. Let's see how this looks. Move some of this junk, uh, not junk, stuff out of the way. There you go. Isn't that pretty? Seven and a half. Almost looks like a vertebrae. Five dollars. Let's look at this. Oh, this one's in the way. This one has a mark on the back. The mark says Monet on the pendant. Does it say on? Yeah, it looks like it says it. Does it say anything on there? Yeah. The and it says money out on the necklace. And the pendant is well, it's about 
two and a half wide. Uh, I'm probably two and a half high. <laughs> and it does show some wear here, but it's five dollars. See what the wearable length is. About 12 inches. Five dollars. This chain looks like it has some wear to it. Let's clean it up. It's a silver tone. This feels like it's, you know, got some waviness to it, but I'd do this one for three. Three dollars for a Monet. It's eight inches. Nice. And then we will do... little guy. Three dollars. It's a nice little faux pearl. Look at this one. Thought I saw some sort of a shadow. Yeah, they're smooth. Too smooth. But they are hand tied and they do feel like they are coated glass. So this one has about an nine inch so there's that one three dollars and this is really a nice a b necklace there's no signs of wear on this no maker's mark those little stones are there oh there's a stone missing but i don't think it matters it's not gonna matter. This is a steal of a deal for three bucks. So I'm not gonna change the price on that. Seven and a half. Those are so pretty and so clean. Okay, now the shoe clips. These are each two and a half wide by an inch and a half high. And it's like that pearlized lucite. Let's make sure the clips work. Nails. Good. Good. These don't even look like they've ever been used. The rhinestones are still set in there. I do ten dollars on this set. If you don't if you think that it should be a better price, then email me or Tell me in the comments. So on that note, with these gorgeous shoe clips right here, um, feel free to email jandapanda at comcast.net. Everything's in the description box. I'll need, if you wanna buy any of these items, I will need your um, PayPal info so that I can bill you. First come, first serve. Um, and I, I made it to 150 subscribers, so thank you all very much. And uh, I thank those um, YouTubers that um, promoted my channel. So, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to name a few, and I may have left somebody out, and I apologize, but, you know, Kristen D. And um, Kimmy, she did a promotion for me, as well as Kristen D. She, if I sent her a postcard, she would promote my channel, which she did. And... Um, 
Gina, my pink bag has uh, mentioned me and um, a whole bunch of others. And I, I'm going to have a list of, um, of those YouTubers that I do watch and I will give them all a shout out. Um, and, um, you know, I, and if you need somebody to repair Julie, how, how, Haley, she's, um, she's got, um, she does repairs, but she also sells on YouTube. So, um, and she's just really fun to work with. I've sent a few pieces to her for repair. So if you are interested in anything in this video, email jandapanda at comcast.net. Shipping starts at $4. And, um, as soon as I get, you know, uh, payment on my invoice, I try and ship out the next day, although it might be a little bit more difficult on the weekend of the 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, and 26th of July. So, but I, I will have my phone so I can respond to emails and, you know, um, but everything's going to filter down by Tuesday of next week or, you know. Like by the 27th, I'll be really working on, you know, what transpired with the videos. So anyway, thank you so much. This is Jeanette with Janda Panda Treasures.